Welcome to our lecture online. Work is something we do in nature by applying a force and having that force act over a certain amount of displacement. Now we did say force and displacement which implies that these two are vectors. And if the direction of the force is different than the direction of the displacement and there's an angle between the two, we can then define the work done as being the dot product between the force applied and the displacement and therefore it is equal to the magnitude of the force times the magnitude of the displacement times the cosine of the angle between them. Notice when the angle between them becomes zero, the cosine of zero is one and it simply becomes the product of the force times the distance. Now what happens when the force is not a constant, when we're not applying a constant force? Then of course for every small displacement the force will be different and that of course lends itself to using the methodology of integration. So here let's say that we're applying a force from A to B, that's our displacement, and let's make it a little bit easier and assume that the direction of the force applied and the direction of the displacement is the same so that the angle between them is zero. Let's assume that we have now applied the force for a while and now we're at this location right here and we're applying the force for another small displacement dx. So a small amount of work will be done, let's call it a dw, which is equal to the force at that particular location times the displacement dx. And of course we'll do that for every small little displacement all the way across and then when we sum all that up that will be the total work done. Understanding that the force will be a function of position x, in other words the force will change as we go from a to b in some fashion according to some sort of function and we have to define that function. You can then see that the work done will simply be the sum of all those little forces times displacements or the integral of the function representing the force times the displacement dx all the way from a to b and that's how we then define the work done using that integral and that's how it's done.